Welcome to Elizabeth, who is part of the Austria team in this paragliding world championship. So Elizabeth, can you tell us what is your paragliding story? How did you roll into paragliding? Um, actually, I started quite a few years ago. I was on holidays and I saw some people flying over there. And so I tried it over there and I was fascinated from the first time on. And so I started um, the paragliding course, actually ended up in the flight school where I started now as a paragliding instructor. So it's made it all the way into my life. Nice. So how many years are you flying now? Um, I started in 2010. So in 2011, I finished my license. And since 2016, I am competing um, in paragliding competitions. Uh, nowadays, also international. It's actually my second world championship. Um, I was in Macedonia uh, as well. Like, so how many years ago? Two years ago yeah. <laughs> in Macedonia. So the second world championship for me and doing some world cups. Right? Nice. nice. So uh, which glider do you fly and why do you fly that glider? I'm currently flying a UP Guru on the S size. Um, I really like this glider. It's um, very nice um, handling. And the positive thing for me is that I can fly it pretty light, only with like 90 kilos. That's with my size. I'm not such a heavy person. That's the best glider for me at the moment because I don't need to put that much ballast. Do you think that the small glider for you is going to be more handful than the bigger uh, glider, the same brand size? Uh, actually, I would like to fly bigger sizes because bigger sizes uh, fly a little bit better. But the problem is on takeoff and landing if you have a lot of ballast. So for me, it's like already 40 kilos of ballast. So it's quite a lot. Even carrying more, it's not getting more easy. Yeah, yeah. So over to something else. So mentally and physically, uh, do you have a special preparation for these competitions or you just go for it? Um, I try to do like every day some physical exercise to um, keep my mind uh, busy somewhere else and also my body to calm down a little bit. And before the takeoff, I have like several uh, papers which remind me of um, why I'm there and how to focus. So that's my mental preparation before the tasks. Great, great. So, you know, there's a lot of men in the competition, so it's mainly uh, a men's event. Uh, luckily, we have those women, uh, not many, unfortunately. But do you feel kind of disadvantaged the way things are running now? Or you say, no, I'm, I'm okay with this? Um, actually, I think being a girl or a man doesn't make a big difference. The uh, biggest disadvantage you have is when you're a lightweight. So with uh, the heavier you are, the better it is. And so I think that's just a general problem of girls. They're mostly lighter than uh, the guys. So I think that's the biggest disadvantage we have. So um, to coming to the finish here. So do you have any tips for beginning pilots that want to fly competitions? Um, just go there, enjoy, have fun and talk to the older pilots, ask questions and you're going to learn a lot from more experienced pilots. That's how I did it and it's really found a lot of friends and good uh, tips from other pilots. Okay, so last question. So which country or place you like most to fly competitions? Uh, I really love Austria actually, where I'm from. Um, but I also really enjoyed uh, Kosovo in Macedonia because it was a good mixture of uh, flatlands and also flying in the hills, mountains a little bit. So it was a uh, really nice flying. So yeah, but let's see how it's going to be here. Thank you, Elizabeth.